Hello everyone. Uh, yeah, we're in the car right now and today it is miserable, it's rainy, so we're going to continue our journey through Scottish food. I'm having another week this week where I just haven't had time. Work has been properly on top of me but I always want to get a video every week. So today is another day where I'm filming it today, editing it and getting it up today. I've kept my local supermarket, we're going to grab some Scottish food, and then we're going to eat it. Hello! Okay, so we're back home now. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a video in the house, so it's nice to be sitting in. It is chucking it down outside, or chucking it down. If you don't know what that means, there's a little Scottish word there, meaning it is raining. Now, over the past, uh, oh, I should say it's... Uh, the end of July right now, 2018. Um, over the pa course of the past sort of eight weeks or so, Britain as a whole has had quite the heat wave. So to tell you what the temperature's been like, it's been unseasonably warm. Like Friday was 27, 28 degrees Celsius here in Edinburgh. This weekend, um, the heavens have opened and the rain has came. Um, it's not as heavy as I have seen it here, but it is raining uh, and we are kind of like, oh, we need this. This is what happens in Scotland. We moan that it rains all the time and then as soon as we have a little bit of sun time, we're like, oh, it's too hot, it's too hot, we need some rain. Uh, but we have actually needed this rain. All the grass has turned yellow, which is really unusual for us here. So it is now a beautiful, um, dreek, miserable, rainy day outside. Uh, and you know what else is nice? You get to see the boys. So this, in case you've never met the dogs before, this is Neville. Neville right here with his favorite teddy. Trevor, Neville, Trevor, anyone get that? And come here, come here, come here, Merlin. This is the baby. This is Merlin. Um, anyway, on to the food. Can you see me? Bit too low. Don't you touch that food. Don't you touch that food. So here we have food. Uh, today, I've decided to go for savoury food. In the first Scottish food video, Kirsten and I did um, a lot of sweet food, and then in the second Scottish video, I did a lot of sweet food. This time, I've decided to go for a bit more savoury food. Um, these are kind of hot foods. Can be hot, can be cold, apart from one of them. So first off, we've got this. Can you see this? This is Stovies. Um, Stovies, this is, I have to say as well, that doesn't look very appetizing, it's not a very nice color. But this is just a microwave brand that I got. Um, it's not like a homemade brand, I haven't made that myself. It's just a microwave one. If you get this in a Scottish restaurant, it's gonna look better than that. And I'm, I'm sure this is gonna taste fine, but I'm sure it'll be more presentable if you got it in a Scottish restaurant and you wanted to try it. It's not actually massively exciting. It's potatoes which we do a lot of here, because it grows in this weather. Potatoes, onions, and meat. Minced meat, or I've seen it done with sausage meat. Um, it's generally all put in one pot and boiled. And that's it. That's as exciting as it gets. It's all put in one pot and boiled, and obviously you can add spices and things like that. Um, but it's really nice. You boil it all together, then you mash it all together, and it just tastes lovely. Um, I was at, uh, way back in college, I went to a, a, a lucky dip thing. One of my college mates decided to do a lucky dip thing and everyone brought food and I brought stovies um, thinking, oh, they'll want to try some Scottish food. So I made up some stovies and I took it along and I was the only one that ate it. This is actually quite brave doing this here at this level with the boys. Um, but then maybe the two of them are going, nah, I don't want to eat that. You know what? For a microwave brand of stovies, that's fine. I could do with a little bit of salt. Um, but apart from that, it's lovely. It's not going to look massively appetising, because like I said, it's mashed potatoes, and usually minced meat, but it could be sausage meat, or corned beef sometimes as well boiled up with onions, chopped onions, and just mashed together. 
Is it exciting? No. Is it taste nice? Yes. Will it put hairs in your chest? Very possibly. If you're going to come to Scotland, try the food and stop moaning about it. This is my lunch, by the way. All of this is my lunch. Can you say massive heart problems in the future? Next up, I've got two types of pies here. Um, you may have noticed that I like to go to a certain um, little high street bakery called Greg's and get the sausage rolls. You can get, uh, we have lots of these high street bakeries, Greg's, we used to have one called Ford's, we've got Bain's, um, and you know, you can pick up a hot, you can pick up a sandwich or a hot hand food um, and just eat them as you're walking along the street and things like that. Generally what these are. Uh, this is a scotch pie, and this is a macaroni pie. We're gonna start with the scotch pie. Again, it's just mincemeat. It's mincemeat in a double crust pie. Can you see that? You can eat these cold or you can eat them hot because you're gonna buy them cooked. So you can eat them cold, you can eat them hot. Normally I would just bite into this, but I wanna cut it so you can, so you can see what it looks like inside. Also, you know what's great with these? Beans. Pie and beans is a very big thing to do over here. Get some pie and beans. It's just some nice seasoned, ah, can you see that? It's just some nice, <laughs> Merlin's following the pie around. Nice seasoned meat in a pie, that's it. That is lovely. Need some ketchup. But apart from that, lovely. Uh-huh. I will move the food slightly further away in someone's nose. Yeah. He just he loves Trevor. He absolutely loves Trevor. Trevor is his best friend. Not you. You're not his best friend. Next up, onto the macaroni pie. It's the same crust pastry, except it's not got a lid on it this time. Oh. Neville's aware of the food now as well. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, so a macaroni pie is exactly the same kind of pie, no lid on it, and that is mac and cheese, guys. That is macaroni, cheese, in a pie. That's all it is. So macaroni pie is lovely. Oh, something so basic and so good about that. Again, need some salt. He just burped. You're not getting any of this. And last, but my absolutely no means least, a scotch egg. Scotch pie, scotch egg. We like to put the word scotch or scottish into food, really don't we? Although Stovies doesn't have it, and macaroni pie doesn't. Shut up. You are licking your lips looking at this wee boy. Look at him. No, you can't. Right, in case you don't know what a scotch egg is, it's very basic. It is a hard boiled egg, surrounded by sausage meat, surrounded by breadcrumbs, and deep fried. Yeah! Deep fry that food. This is actually quite a big one. I prefer, you can get small ones, mini ones. I prefer them. Bite size. There you go, perfectly cut by me, ladies and gentlemen. Perfectly cut, there we go, look at that. Boiled egg. Sausage meat, breadcrumb. Simple, basic. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you for protecting me. It's got a bit of an aftertaste, a bit of an almost spicy aftertaste, but it's not. Whoa! <laughs> Neville, you can't see him, he's just off camera, but he's jumping on the other side of the table trying to get the food. You're cheeky. You are cheeky. I knew this was going to be a risk doing this down here. Um, if you go to a supermarket, um, a, um, a cooked meat section or a ready meal section, you'll see a little pack of them. Either mini scotch eggs, if there's a few of you, nothing in this hand. If there's a few of you and you just want to try it, I would maybe just get a little pack of the mini scotch eggs so you can say you've tried it. If you're feeling braver and you think you can eat the whole thing, then you can buy one this size. So there you have it guys, um, four more 
Scotch food if you want to try. These are a little bit more, apart from the stovies. Now, I know the stovies didn't look nice. It doesn't look appetising, but it tastes really nice. Would you look at the, can you see this wee nose peeking on the table and stuff in here? Um, Merlin does a thing where he tries to lick, taste it in the air. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm tasted like this. I'm, I'm. Yes, Stovies doesn't look nice, but give it a go if you see it on the menu. But like I said, it's basic. It's potatoes, meat, minced meat, and um, onions. That needs salt. Uh, and also there's a little ketchup as well. Scotch pie. Nice easy pick up to try. Macaroni pie, how could you, what's wrong with that? Macaroni pie, who doesn't like macaroni cheese in a pie? Why would you not like that in a scotch egg? Well, I think you've got to try it at least once, don't you, in your lifetime. That's it this week, guys. I'm sorry I haven't a chance to get out of town, but it is chucking it down with rain today, so I'd kind of be hiding everywhere. And I haven't done a video at home for a while. Kirsten, unfortunately, isn't in today, because it would have been nice to have her in a video. She hasn't been in one for a while, either. But you haven't seen the boys for a while, and someone was commenting, can we see the dogs? Oh, I should say, uh, all you guys who have contacted on Twitter or Instagram asking questions about Edinburgh, thanks. That's really nice of you that you trust me to give you answers. I've been helping out with everyone that's contacted us. All these questions are coming in great. I, we will help out wherever we can. Um, obviously, you can go to tourist information, that's what they're there for. But if you want me, if you trust me to look into things for you and I've got time, I will definitely do it. So thank you very much. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter if you like. Oh! You can follow the dogs. Kirsten's got a, a Instagram page. You, oh, she can, oh, that was so close. The dogs have their own Instagram. Uh, I'll put the name up down below right now, but it's called I Have Two Dogs, and you can follow the boys. Kirsten posts pictures of the boys every day. I'm gonna to have to finish this because they're getting more and more restless with the food. Like the video, guys, if you do. Um, and also, what's the thing, subscribe. You know I'm not a fan of saying that, but um, you just kind of have to. And in case you didn't know why I sign off the way I do, it's because I used to do the videos with the boys on them. So, till next time, bye humans.